Hey guys, what's up? This is Easy Cubing, and in today's video, we'll be discussing if cubing should be added to the Olympics. Enjoy. Alright guys, so before we get into the video, make sure to leave a comment down below on if you think cubing should be added to the Olympics, or just your thought on this theory. As always, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new content. Anyways, let's get into it. So the first thing that we are going to be talking about are the requirements a sport needs to join the Olympics. So the first requirement that a sport needs to join the Olympics is that at least 18 countries must want to participate in the sport. So this requirement would be super easy for the Cuban community and wouldn't be hard at all. The next requirement or thing that the Olympic committee looks for is that the sport will get good ratings on TV. This is a huge money making thing for the Olympics and is very important to them. Now I personally think that cubing would do super good on TV because every non-cuber is intrigued when they see a cuber solve a cube and on TV it would just be really fascinating to watch. Another good thing for this is that a cube solve is pretty fast for the most part so a viewer wouldn't lose their attention. Oh. The next thing that the Olympic committee looks for or requires is that the sport has a youth appeal. Luckily for cubing that would be extremely easy because cubing would attract a youth group as well as an older group. This would be a big advantage for cubing because it would get a lot of viewers at first. The next requirement that the Olympic committee looks for is that the sport has a gender equality. This basically means that both boys and girls can compete at the sport. If it were in the Olympics they would have a male group and a female group with male competitors and female competitors. This again would be super easy for the cubing community to do because obviously males have no advantage to females at cubing. And the last thing that the Olympic committee looks for or requires is that the sport has a low operational cost. Cubing also has a huge advantage here because all you really need is a set of tables and timers. A lot of times where they hold Olympics they have to build all new infrastructure which is super expensive but for cubing they really wouldn't have to build much. If you compare it to something like swimming which has super high maintenance, it doesn't even come close to what you have to do. So those are all the requirements that the Olympic committee looks for when they are trying to add a new sport to the Olympics. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about these requirements and how cubing would fit into it. Anyways guys, let's get into the most controversial part of the video where I talk about whether cubing is a sport or not. Now this is debated over a lot of things and this would probably be the biggest hurdle for cubing if it wanted to get into the Olympics. This is because cubing isn't a physical sport where you have to use your whole body to compete. There is a lot of talk about esports getting added to the Olympics and if that gets added, I think cubing should too. It's personally in the air for me whether or not cubing is a sport, but if something like chess or esports got added to the Olympics, it would bring a lot more leverage towards cubing. Anyways guys, my opinion is that cubing should be added to the Olympics and as a cuber, I think it would be super cool to watch. Keep in mind guys, this is just a theory and I don't expect it to happen anytime soon. Anyways guys, let me know what your opinion is on whether or not cubing should be added to the Olympics. Anyways guys, this video has come to an end. If you enjoyed it in any way or found it informative, make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram at EasyCubing. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.